Well, it's been kind of a busy morning for us, hasn't it, Miles? Mm -hmm. We went out for almost an hour. Well, it was 45 minutes. It's five. And then we uh, got back here and got the dog's food. Check it out, people. Got the dog's food. I don't even know if you could see that. I don't think that light will do a damn thing. Yeah, we got the dogs. Got two birds in there for the dogs. Yes, they are spoiled. Okay. Oh, birds. Two birds in the kitchen. In the kitchen. In the oven for cooking. I still thank my that one subscriber basically gave me led me in the right path to clean it. Working beautiful, man. Working beautiful. Well, Miles and myself were having a conversation. We're gonna go back on our our morning walks, huh? Mm -hmm. And we'll video it. But we're not gonna go the same paths all the time. I think that's one of the one of the reasons why we kinda of like Glory. <laughs> yeah, because we were doing the same walks every day, the same place, and it was like, oh look, a tree. Then the next day, oh look, that tree's still there. So we're gonna walk different areas. But Doc is bigger than you think it is. Hey, where Cheryl lives, is that considered uh, a Doc? Cheryl? Yes. Yeah. This is a See, it's, it's a, what bonga is that? Karaitan. The number? Eight. Bonga eight. I wonder how they did the numbering system here. Just like here, the, the nearest, the, the, the number is... We're going got three, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how they did the numbering. And and then the Saud where we walked in this morning is uh -huh. number four. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to take it every day. We'll take a path. I know that uh, people that grew up in this town, in, in Badak, Okay, either they moved abroad or they moved farther away for work reasons. Mm -hmm. They enjoyed it. They enjoyed it a Tomorrow lot. Tomorrow I know where we go. Well, that's fine. Surprising. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think that's one of the reasons. We were doing the same path, man. We were going through the National Highway, going south, then coming back where the Yellow House is, mm -hmm. and then going north again and home. And it was just getting boring. You know, you saw the same stuff every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna walk a different path every day. You know, I mean, sometimes, I mean, we're gonna try to walk a different path every day. All right. There's there's a lot of s tiny streets here that if you if you don't know where you're going, you'll never find them. But if you're walking, you have more of a chance of seeing them tiny streets than if you were driving. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people tell me there's like restaurants hidden there and the, here and there. In, in certain areas. I don't know where we're at, but we'll find them too. Like that that one across the street, the bistro. Yeah. The one that was, for, for a very short period of time, they were at that uh, food court. Yeah. I thought the food was good. But the business wasn't there, you know. That's business, man. If you ain't making it, close down before you lose too much money. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, there's that there. And then also they have... Uh, the museum. What's the yeah. name? Of Juan Luna. Yeah, Juan Luna. He's a he's a, a town hero. He was a famous artist. It was it was it him or his brother was in the military. His brother. Yeah, he had a brother that was in the Antonio. military. Yeah. Now a lot of times that place it now it's, it doesn't cost anything to go in this museum. They go donations, mm -hmm. so they're not open all the time. But I like that we can make arrangements for the guys to give us a tour. We did it one time before and people enjoyed it, remember? That was a year ago. Yeah, it was about a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but that's what we're gonna do, man. And hopefully you all enjoy it, you know? We will see. Well, that's the, that's the children's uh, food. <laughs> People will probably think we're crazy. Why are you cooking chicken? Let me be honest, man. It, there's a lot of the food, dog food here and cat food, they get it from a certain country, which I have, I, I don't trust them. That's what I'm gonna tell you. They have done things, especially with the rice. We're not gonna get into it. I'm not gonna talk negative, but I'd rather feed them, you know, home cooked meals like the chicken and the pork and Whatever else we can get together, that's just the way we are, right? Yeah. Plus, dog food here is really expensive. 
you know. For a, for a regular size can of dog food, it's like four bucks. I don't know how much it is in the States, okay? Like four dollars for a regular size can of dog food. You know, we're talking... The pedigree? Yeah, I think it's pedigree or apple. I'm not sure exactly which one it was. I was going to buy it to see if they liked it until I seen the price. And I was like, nah, nah. I don't want them getting it. I don't want them getting like that and then they won't eat anything else. Very expensive. I mean, I only caught chicken. How much is chicken now? Two sixty a kilo. Chicken. How much? Two hundred twenty. Two twenty a kilo. Okay, and a kilo is two point something pounds. Mm -hmm. So it's a dollar ten a pound, and it lasts a couple of days. It doesn't. It's not one meal. So and pork is two. Two fifty, the, their food. Yeah. Two fifty. Yeah, the pork is more expensive than the chicken. Yeah. So I'm saying to myself, why don't we just feed them chicken? <laughs> I don't mind doing. We give them a little. We give them some rice. We give them the chicken. They're happy as hell. But like I said before, I think they're, they're getting tired of pork, 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 pork. I know I would. I'd be like, man, you need to do something better than this. That's just my way of thinking. But yeah, I just thought I'd do this short video to let you all know. We're gonna, we're gonna, it seemed, like I said, it seemed like people really enjoyed when we did the walkabouts. So that's what we're gonna do. You know? Yeah. And plus, I like looking at the old houses and stuff like that. I like looking at the traditional Philippine homes versus the, the modern Philippine home. So, uh, that's all I really got to say. I just thought I'd give you all an update. Uh, around this area, you cannot you cannot see those modern or those old. Well, oh, the old homes, yeah. Yeah, you can see them in the the barangays. Oh, but this far away. Yeah. So we'll just do the best we can to give you you know content that you like to see. I know a lot of people love. Like I said, I'm going to repeat it because y'all are like, dude, we're not stupid. I just see how it goes, man. If people like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. And like the video I'm dropping tomorrow, I hope that it's, it's, it's a walkabout. Yeah. But uh, it's on the outskirts of Badak, the farmlands of Badak. So hopefully you all enjoy it. And uh, I guess I'll talk to you all later. Remember, be good to yourself. Be good to each other. And stay happy. <laughs> Bye for now. Oh, <laughs> no.